guys, it's Felicia with Happy Ever After Living. I am currently here at the rental. Um, I was scheduled to show this property from three to five. It's Sunday, February 27th. I have like seven more minutes. I'm about to leave and go to the grocery store. I am so excited. Today is a day that I get to go and just buy whatever I want. So I wanted to record this intro really quickly. Um, usually when I go to the grocery store, I like to go early in the morning when it's less crowded. Oh, and that also allows me to um, take the camera in and not look like a weirdo. But I don't know, like I wanna show you guys, like I don't even know what I want. I didn't make a list. I know a couple things that I want, but I didn't make a list. And that's different for me. I kinda, I'm gonna take the camera and if I can show you guys some stuff along the way, then I'll do that, but I'll talk to you soon. All right guys, so I have made it back home from the grocery store. We have a lot of stuff. So I didn't get a chance to film while I was there. It was actually pretty crowded. I was a little shocked by how many people were in the grocery store like this late on a Sunday evening. Currently 8.33, I didn't make it to the store until like seven o'clock. And then I took my time and I went, Ow, ow, just to see whatever I wanted and it was pretty cool um, but I will say there's a couple things I want to add actually I'm just going to flip the camera around and show you guys what I got and keep in mind like I got things for myself and the family and I do want to say spring break is coming so a lot of this stuff is for spring break too so here we go all right so let's just take a quick scan holy cow this is a lot of stuff this is a lot and i even had to use the chair here <laughs> we'll actually go through this first so i have been wanting to buy the cucumbers that you know you gotta like peel take the plastic off these are organic cucumbers so i got those and then um, some avocado and I miss my sriracha like I really haven't been using a lot of sauces so that's something that you guys will see in this grocery haul is that more condiments so I'll see how that goes if if I see that I'm not able to continue losing weight with condiments or whatever I'll, I'll figure that part out and then Got some wasabi, almonds, <laughs> and some, look at this cheese, habanero cheese. Like this was like $6. I wanna say it was like $6.99. So this is not something I would typically buy, but I did. Um, okay, and let's come up here. And we got chicken strips for the kids, more chicken strips. And it was pretty cool like to, you know, splurge a little bit more and get like the ones that make you feel like you're not feeding your kids crap. Like it's a little bit healthier, you know? See what I mean? No antibiotics, all of that stuff. And then I also got two bags of chicken wings. They were buy one, get one free. And then I also got um, just some a healthier version of the chicken breast so that was pretty nice and I got two of those because I believe they were also buy one get one free and these were also buy one get one free um, and then look at this some organic grass-fed beef burgers that was definitely a splurge I want to say this for four cost either like a little bit more or around the same price as these for eight yeah eight beef patties with angus beef yeah but anyways that was a nice little splurge and then some fruits frozen fruit or smoothies and then i got these collards because i actually want to do like um, kind of like imagine like lettuce wraps, but I want to use the collars like to wrap Like think like a little sandwich thing. I don't know I have this little ideal in my head and if it turns out, okay, I'll share it with you guys and then I splurge and God I love bagged salads 
Sometimes when I'm trying to save money, I don't buy them. But I really enjoy just being able to come home and throw my salad in a bowl and eat it. I don't always eat like the salad dressing that's included because sometimes they have sugar. But for the most part, and I also don't eat the croutons either. But it's just really nice to have quick and convenient food. But obviously it costs more than when I prepare my salads in my mason jars. And then I got some chopped. Like to me, all of these things are so, like they're just extra because technically I can chop my own broccoli, but I just paid a little bit more for it. Actually, there's a price tag there. Four, four twelve. So obviously, you know, you could just buy regular broccoli for less. And these were two sixty three. Now I will say they are more expensive, but I got the ones that were pretty close to probably going bad. But that doesn't bother me because I'll eat, I'll eat them before they go bad. And then we've got some lean ground turkey and some chicken thighs. And with that lean ground turkey, I have been wanting this. What is this thing called? I just blanked out. I have been wanting to make some spaghetti out of this. I am totally blanking out. Oh, <laughs> spaghetti squash, okay. So I have been wanting to make spaghetti squash for so long, but this is like $1.99 a pound. And this thing is freaking heavy. So I haven't been buying it, but today I grabbed it. Sure did, and I'm so excited about it. And I love arugula, but sometimes the arugula is a little bit more expensive. But I got, I bought four containers for smoothies and for salads for the week. And oh, and here we have more frozen fruit. I love mangoes um, and tropical blend. And all of those are no additional, like no added sugar. So I think I'll be okay. Um, and then coffee, some organic K-cups. And then more cheese. And this was a total splurge. So just little turkey and cheese sticks. I think that's pretty cool. Just to have like in the car or throw in my lunch bag in case I get a little hungry or need more food. Um, bananas. And then I wanted to buy my real spaghetti sauce, but I could not bring myself to do it. It was 8.29 tonight and I just could not do it. So this is no sugar added. And it was, I think it's like 3.29. I'll put the price in. And these bagels, so um, our daughter will be home for spring break and she's been watching like her gluten she's cutting back a little bit but she loves bagels so you know like sometimes when you try a new diet you have to try foods and that could be expensive because like what if it's a total fail but i picked these up for her and i think she'll like them um she's into that everything whatever seasoning now too so i think she'll like them and if she doesn't like them the boys will always eat them and then I got more asparagus and I wanted to try this passion fruit bubbly and it says, where is it? Okay, no calories, no sweeteners, all smiles. So I wanna try this and see if I like it or not. And then more spaghetti sauce. And then I got kimchi. I've been wanting to try this but it's so expensive, but it's really good for gut health. Um, yeah, I'm excited about it. I want to say it was like $6, $7. I'll put the price in. I'll answer the price in here in the video. And like I said, I do miss um, having condiments. Condiments can add up, like they can be kind of expensive when you buy them, especially when you're trying to, like in this case, I'm trying to eat sugar, you know, sugar free, like stay away from sugar. So this and this one, 
they were two for seven dollars and that is not something that i would usually splurge on and it's two carbs per serving gluten free we'll see and then oh and peanut butter so i love peanut butter but sometimes i have a hard time finding like natural crunchy peanut butter so i was really excited about this there's actually another brand that was pretty clean too and they had crunchy but they were like six dollars or something and i wanted to get it but i couldn't so i think i got this for like four something i'll put the price in but um i like i like peanut butter that just has see peanuts and salt like no extra stuff sometimes it'll have palm oil but like no added sugar or any of that stuff so i am excited about this purchase i'm really excited about this and the kimchi and then also the condiments and i picked up some triscuits and some chips but oh and i'm also excited about this sweet potato fries i haven't had these in forever i don't know if you guys have ever had these or not but this brand it's hard to find them on sale or maybe you know like at you know a place where they are on sale let me know but i like them a lot but i haven't had them since gosh probably like over a year so i'm excited about that too and then regular fries for the kids and more broccoli pre-cut four dollars and something and some romaine i thought i would buy the organic romaine but for the same amount it was three dollars more and i just could not bring myself to do it um, and then I finally got more popcorn because popcorn has not been on sale. So I haven't been buying it. But tonight, I bought it. And some salsa. I think that's it. I think. Yeah. So guys, let me know down in the comment section how much do you think I spent tonight. I need to grab the receipt one second all right so i have the receipt and remember like this was a little celebration for us closing on our property i just wanted to be able to go into the grocery store and buy whatever i wanted and not think about the price um i will say there are a couple things that i wish they had a better selection of um for instance i wanted some salmon but the selection just was not that great i think i need to go to the nicer grocery store or to aldi and get that oh and i also want to say that it's still kind of hard like i had to actually like force myself and like coach myself along the way like no girl like it's okay just get it it's fine it's fine you're okay so and also with it being the first of the month like first of march in the back of my head i was like if you need to adjust for the rest of the month you can do that um all right so let me know how much you guys think i spent i will tell you i thought it would be a lot more um i thought it would be a lot more but it's just interesting to see that if i didn't consider the budget how much we would really spend for, on each grocery trip so i know that i saw the total like going up to like i think it was like around 365 or so and then when she put in my card where i had clipped a few coupons i saved 90 dollars and 52 cents so my total was 200 $73.46. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I thought it was going to be a whole lot more than that. And also, I wonder if it shows it here. No, it doesn't show it here on the receipt, but um I got 30 times 30 times points and that actually earned me like 40 bucks towards the next grocery haul. And I already had $10 towards the next grocery haul. So the next time I go to the store, I'll get like 50 bucks off. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul. I need to get this stuff up. Like it is super late for me right now, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like more content like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.
I'm so tired. <laughs>